Hello again. This is Iyad from Canonical. James and Sam are in police custody, which means I am on my own again for another mini review. These mini reviews take a short look at the kinds of new and interesting novels that James and Sam hate to read. But don't worry, our regular episodes will continue as normal on Fridays. Today's mini review is for Rivka Galchen's sophomore novel, Everyone Knows Your Mother is a Witch, released last summer and probably out in paperback sometime very soon. Everyone Knows Your Mother is a Witch takes on additional resonance in light of the recent U.S. Supreme Court decision that takes away the constitutional protection for a woman's right to an abortion. The novel tells the story of Katharina Kepler, mother of famous astronomer Johannes Kepler, who stood trial for witchcraft in the 17th century. In this moment where many women feel their rights are under attack, the novel reminds us how long the history of the law being used to control women really is. Kepler was just one of the women accused of witchcraft during the witch trials in the Holy Roman Empire, of which 900 were executed. And the novel shows us how the greed, avarice, and stupidity of her community wrought havoc on her life. Despite that heavy description, Everyone Knows Your Mother is a Witch is actually a very funny novel. Galchen is a master of tone and the rhythms of language, and she uses those gifts to punctuate the novel with the testimony of Katharina's various accusers. Each has a distinct tone and cadence, and the cumulative effect of their voices is a kind of sustained irony. Their voices simultaneously speak to the world of the novel, but also at another level, they're directed at the modern reader. The plainness of their greed and the gaps in their logic are comical from our perspective, even though the implications of their testimonies are very serious for Katharina. Galchen uses this layering of humor and seriousness to dramatize the experience of being held prisoner by the stupidity of one society. Presenting an experience like this is itself one of the values of historical fiction creating empathy with people from distant times and places. But the pleasure of the novel extends in a more immediately gratifying way as well. It can't be denied that there is some vicarious pleasure in reading how Katharina is so abused by the idiots in her midst and thinking, I too am surrounded by idiots. There are a few moments in the novel where this pleasure to be had in laughing at the past begins to feel insufficient. But there is enough emotional weight in the novel to reward careful reading and reflection. At the end, the satisfying impression I was left with was that, even in the face of great injustice, we may find some solace in the notion that the eyes of history are watching. And on that note, I will pause my discussion of Everyone Knows Your Mother is a Witch probably the funniest novel I have ever read about a witch trial. I would love to hear your thoughts about it. You can find us on Reddit at our canonical pod, and we are also on all of the other social media, also as canonical pod. Till next time, happy reading, and we will talk to you soon. Mm-hmm.